What do we got here? We got a nice pulsar. Work, Andy P. Yeah, Andy P's getting some serious stuff here. We got the pulsar, self resetting input. Right, so this is this is just like my yeah. buttons that yeah. that are idiot proof that give you these short little pulses. They're yeah, great. delay not and a very handy uh, piece of gear to have because it uh, it lets you build spam proof devices because if, as long as everything is running on a certain pulse and it's not going to accept another pulse until it's actually done its thing or run its course then so you can activation really into things. yeah activation into delay and and delay into not not into and and into light there we go yeah it gives you just a nice clean tiny signal to send down your chain instead of a long pulse or Next we have the, about whether someone's got a button pressed. Indeed. Next we have the toggle, which is a self-resetting input. So this one. Right. So this is this is his his flip flop. It's it's really identical to mine. It's just the one input version. Ah. Or the one that Calvin built. Ah, right. Nice. We're just waiting for the server autosave to stop and then we can show you. Oh, there it goes. Whoops. So yeah, go ahead and give it a flip. So yeah, this is this is just one that is a single button press. This is the pulse generator we got here on the tip, and then over here we have our flip-flop design. Where is it coming from again? Uh well the the input is coming from this button on the end. This yep. is a pulse generator that pulses both of these systems which feed back into one another. So the ands on the end only get tripped every other time that you hit the button. Mm. On the two button version, then you, you know, it would only get tripped every time you hit the input came from that side. Oh, nice. This is, this is a single button version of mine. So here we go, the self resetting input. Now over here, we have the toggle multi-input self-resetting input from Andy P. So this oh, one here is we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here is exactly my version. Yeah, but it's a different style, isn't it? Look at it. He's just built it flat. Well, the layout looks different to me. But anyway, like I say, yeah, don't yeah. worry. I want to include all the different designs by people because that's the whole point of this plate, really, just to collect as many different his, wiring his styles. His is definitely more block efficient. Right. Uh, ours, ours was just built for clarity. Right, right. Well, this is interesting then. Okay. So basically, it doesn't matter which button you push, you get the effect. It'll turn it off or on, no matter which one you push. This is a bit like the idea I had for my um, single pole double throw switch, but. Oh, I take it back. What? What? Right. This nothing. This is this is just his his multi input showing that that the flip flop will change states from multiple inputs. Yeah. But it's not actually, his isn't an exclusionary for that. You would need our extra block. Right, okay. And then over here, the last thing that we've got to show on the plate so far is the wire saving encoder decoder. Plane pass through to compress wiring over long distances. Huh. And it's got it's got a keypad with a reset button. Look, I just reset it. <laughs> Hang on. What's this one? This one's got a reset as well. What? you got to push the AND to reset it? I don't know what that means. They're all ANDs though. I don't know. Maybe that's just to mark it out. I don't know. Look at all the wiring back here. My God. Right. And look at this. Yeah, look, there's a bit... Stuff. There's a bit command table here, bro. What? what? Andy P's blowing our minds, right? Look at this. There's a. Hang on, I'm gonna push some buttons, right? Ready? I'm gonna type in uh, 555. 555. Now what? <laughs> Wait. I don't know. Bit table. Wait, hang on. Do I have to push something else as well? No. I don't know. 
See, I don't even know how to use this. This is way beyond what I understand of logic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this would be once you really had something that almost... Oh, he's got a demo for this. It's just that it was too big to fit on here. I have to do it in a separate video. But he's got, like, a fully controllable hanger with buttons for every door, light, combination controls. It's pretty nice. mental. <laughs> and animations for all his doors. It's quite... It's really cool. impressive. We'll have to go on to the... Uh, dev server and check it out sometime. Definitely. But yeah, so pretty much I guys... I like meeting people who are even crazier than me. So if you want to take a look at any of these, they're all included in the um, the Logic Fiesta download on the StarMade Doc community content section. Uh, the last update was version 4. This one is going to be version 7 or 8. Um, it will include also a media fire link to all of the copy-paste compact NAND, NOR, and negative XOR um, uh, for you to use in your templates folder. So you can just literally go load and paste. Obviously, that's that's how I built this one over at the back, the the uh, the NXOR without the OR. So, but basically, that's pretty much what we're doing. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to copy pasta this.